While thousands of climbers have successfully scaled Mount Everest, the highest point on Earth, only two people have descended to the planet's deepest point, the Challenger Deep in the Pacific Ocean, Mariana Trench. Located in the western Pacific east of the Philippines and an average of approximately 124 miles east of the Mariana Islands, the Mariana Trench is a crescent-shaped scar in the Earth's crust that measures more than 1,500 miles long and 43 miles wide on average. The distance between the surface of the ocean and the trench's deepest point, the Challenger Deep, which lies about 200 miles southwest of the U.S. territory of Guam, is nearly 7 miles. If the Mount Everest were dropped into the Mariana Trench, its peak would still be more than a mile underwater. The Mariana Trench is a part of a global network of deep pros that cut across the ocean floor. They form when two tectonic plates collide. At the collision point, one of the plates dives beneath the other into the Earth's mantle, creating an ocean trench. The depths of the Mariana Trench were first plumbed in 1875 by the British ship HMS Challenger as part of the first global oceanographic cruise. The Challenger scientists recorded a depth of 4,475 fathoms using a weighed sound rope. In 1951, the British vessel HMS Challenger 2 returned to the spot with an echo sounder and measured of depth of nearly 7 miles. The major of the Mariana Trench is now a USA protected zone as part of the Marianne Trench Marine National Monument established by President George W. Bush in 2009. Permits for research in the monument, including the Sirena Deep, have been secured from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Permits for research in the Challenger Deep have been secured from the Faraday States of Micronesia. Historic Dive Because of its extreme depth, the Mariana Trench is cloaked in the perpetual darkness and the temperature is just a few degrees above freezing. The water pressure at the bottom of the trench is a crushing 8 tons per square inch or about a thousand times of the standard atmospheric pressure at sea level. Pressure increases with depth. The first and only time humans descended to the Challenger Deep was more than 50 years ago. In 1960, Jack West Picard and Navy LT Don Walls reached this goal in a U.S. Navy submersible, a Batish cave called the Trieste. After a five-hour descent, the pair spent only a scant 20 minutes at the bottom and were unable to take any photographs due to the clouds of stilt stirred up by their passage. Until Picard and Wall's historic dive, scientists are debated whether life could exist under such extreme pressure. But at the bottom, the triest floodlight illuminated a creature that Picard thought was a flatfish. A moment that Picard would later describe with excitement in a book about his journey. Here is an instant was the answer that biologists had asked for the decades. Picard wrote, could life exist in the greatest depth of the oceans? It could, waiting in the deep. While the trace expeditions lay to rest any doubts that life could exist in the Mariana Trench, scientists still know very little about the types of organisms that reside there. In fact, some questions whether Picard's fish was actually a form of a sea cucumber. It is thought that the pressure is so greater that calcium can't exist except in solution so the bones of vertebrae would literally dissolve. No bones, no fish. But nature has also proven scientists wrong many times in the past with its remarkable capacity for adaptation. So are there fish that deep? Nobody knows. And this is the whole point of the Deep Sea Challenge project to find answers to such fundamental questions.
In recent years, deep ocean degrees and unmanned subs have glimpsed exotic organisms such as shrimp-like amphipods and strange translucent animals called holothurians. But scientists say there are many new species awaiting discovery and many unanswered questions about how animals can survive in these extreme conditions. Scientists are particularly interested in microorganisms living in the trenches, which they say could lead to breakthroughs in biomedicines and biotechnology. The Mariana Trenscopic inhabitants might even shed light on the emergence of life on Earth. Some researchers such as Patricia Firer at Alat University of Hawaii have spectacled that serpentine malcanos located near ocean trenches might have provided the right conditions for our planet's first life forms. Additionally, studying rocks from ocean trenches could lead to a better understanding of the earthquakes that create the powerful and devastating tsunamis seen around the Pacific Rim.